Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly tip. And today's tip is actually about utilizing the new Kelly Guide that's available for your websites. All right, so as much as you guys know, the website for Playster is officially going away on October 1st, and around that same time, the new IDX sites are set to come out too. All right, so obviously there's been a lot of publicity, a lot of advertising about this going over for the past couple months. All right, so now the time is here to really get prepped, all right, to prepare for these new sites, because we're about four or five days away right now. All right, so first thing first, if we're inside command, all right, so we're on agent.kdb.com. If you have not done so already, make sure you click on your name at the top right and go to the settings section. All right, this is the first place I would always suggest going to because you can actually update some of your information that will auto-populate over on these sites, all right, underneath the connect settings section for your marketing profile. All right, so we always talk about the marketing profile on here and how to help out with your landing pages, how to help out with your smart plans. It'll also help out with your IDX sites too, so make sure you fill this out as well. This will help out tremendously, and there's even a Kelly guide up here for that too. All right, now for the IDX sites though, that is going to be under your sites section. All right, so if you notice, it now says sites over here. All right, if I come back under here and I hover over it, sometimes it'll say sites, sometimes it might say landing pages. All right, but this is the new sites section on here. All right, so in order to access this, we'll click on sites, and then this is where the landing pages used to be. You can still see your landing pages. You can still see your neighborhood pages linked up with your you know, contacts. And now there's new or a new agent site page section too, where you can actually view this immediately. All right. Now before you actually start, you know, clicking on the create a new site option and obviously making new site pages and everything of that sort, what we're going to do on here is click on the learn more with Kelly guides because this will actually walk you through how to fill out this site so whenever it's officially live around 10 1 you'll be prepped and ready to go all right so this is very crucial so if you download your playster content you can start to copy and paste it inside here or we're just going to do a quick walkthrough all right so once i click on learn more you'll see right on here it's a normal kelly guide all right what should i expect to get out of this guide learn how to create and manage your personally branded neighborhood focused mobile optimized website that's a lot of adjectives in there, but it's exactly what it does. All right, so in this case, we're gonna click on the get started and we're gonna literally go through these four items, all right, and really just three on here. All right, so once we click on get started, the first item is very simple. All right, what do you want as your URL? All right, so this is gonna end in .kdb.com, much like the Playster one. All right, so if you wanna utilize that exact same one you had on Playster, feel free. All right, so I'll put this in. And as long as it's available, click on claim domain. And if it is, it'll say, congrats, you've claimed your subdomain. You're all good to go. All right, so that's the number one thing to do on here. So obviously, first one, set up that subdomain. So here's an idea as to what our site's going to look like. And we can see that subdomain right up here. And then number two, that marketing profile information. So this is why I was saying it's very crucial to have that already set up. Because as you can see, it's auto-populating for me. I don't have to do anything. All right, this is making my life a lot easier. Uh, so in this case, anything that has a red asterisk, you will need to fill out. Obviously, we can go through, we can start to add inside some dashes, dots, different items like that on here, too, to help out. That is not where that dash goes. Here we go. Perfect. All right. Obviously, some of the information is, you know, well, actually, all this information is automatically coming over from our marketing profile. So this will help out tremendously. And then, of course, if you're inside a state like uh, Texas, for instance, and you need to have your compliance or legal footer on here, like for the TREC, um, obviously, for the information about brokerage services or maybe even about you know the commission oh geez now i'm blanking on it oh what is the other one all right it'll come to me once i'm done with this all right but then you can actually add inside the title and the link on here too you can add inside additional links as well to kind of help out all right so completely up to you guys and then of course we'll have our imagery of obviously our profile picture the dba logo obviously for our office logo we'll happen to have our header up here too so that way we can add inside our own logo as well all right, and once again, this will automatically pull over from the marketing profile. All right, automatically pulling over once again our social media information so people can actually click on this and even our app link. All right, so that's step one. So I'm going to click save and continue because I already had everything set up. All right, so if you've done your marketing profile that we've been talking about for months now, you're golden. All right, you already have a third of this completed. All right, so I'll click on save. And then for the second one, style and theme, crazy simple. All right, are you going to use a red theme? Or are you going to use a dark one? All right, so if I click on either one, it doesn't really do anything right now. It looks like this is the dark one. All right, so I'm going to go with the K to be red theme just to keep it in, you know, culture, obviously, with the red on here. If we scroll down, here's our homepage text. Do we want to change right where it's up here for the search section? Find your dream home is perfect with me. That's fantastic. 
All right, upload a home page hero image. This is the hero image in the background on there. All right, so you give your agent site a personalized look that reflects your business. All right, so you can upload up to five different images on here, kind of like a scrolling banner, similar to what you had on Playster. The only difference is instead of it being, you know, a very wide image, you know, previously where we saw on there, it was, uh, geez, for Playster, I think it was 1600 by about 660 or so. All right, the recommended size on here is 1200 by 1200. All right, so if you notice on here, it's actually, you know, not actually a square. It is rectangular. All right, but at the end of the day, that is the main size they're looking for. All right, then you can even click on this to preview all of them, too. Like, that's a fantastic looking home. Three car garage, too. Geez, look at them. All right, so I'm just going to leave this as is. Everything looks great on here. There's even a dog in that picture. That's the perfect. All right, so I'm going to go down and click on Save and Continue. Two are done. All right, so one was just setting up literally our subdomain and making sure that our marketing profile is already set up. Simple enough because more than likely you had the placer subdomain and then you also had your marketing profile set up previously. Number two, setting up the style and theme. All of it's pretty much already set up for you. You could just skip over that if you want to or you can tweak it to make it your own. Now number three is where it really comes into play that you'll need to update some information. So if you've downloaded your Playster, you know, backend info, this will help out tremendously. All right, so the first thing you're going to see on here is your navigation. All right, so right away you're going to have the company profile, you'll have about me, and then you'll have contact us. All right, so you can move this around by putting your cursor on any of them. We're getting that little four cardinal direction arrow on here so I can move my cursor around if I want to go about me then company profile, then contact us, just something to start with, obviously. All right, then under search engine optimization, very similar to what you had on Playster. You'll need a page title. All right, here's what the slug URL is going to be. So basically, whenever we're inside our URL up here. All right, so here's the main URL. Here's the slug portion that comes after that slash. All right, so this is going to be like our direct page, or as you can see, the subdirectory on here. All right, so typically for an about page, yours might say about dash us, I think is what they have on it. I just changed it to about. All right, and then for the SEO description on here, you can actually start, as it says on here, tell customers about me. All right, so I can come on here and I can put inside some information. Learn about Scott Leroy of Scott Leroy Marketing. Jeez, can I type? There we go. And now I'll leave it at that. All right. Now, in most cases, for the page title, you're looking at about 50 to 60 characters. And for the SEO description, you're looking at about 150 to 160 characters. All right. So a good rule of thumb on there is, you know, just try to shoot for the, the smaller amount, obviously, about 150 or so. All right. Because at the end of the day, this is going to display when you go to Google. All right. So to give you an idea as to what this will look like, if I go to Google.com right now and I type in Orlando Real Estate, I'll do something simple. All right, here is the SEO title. All right, oh, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Here's the SEO title. I can't highlight to save my life today. All right, here is the URL, the slug URL will take us to. And then here is the SEO description, all right, the meta description. So we have the meta title, meta description on here. All right, so whenever we're looking at this, this is an example. So obviously Zillow comes up first, you know, for a generic search keyword on there. All right, so in this case, this is what we're seeing as the title. This is the description again. All right, so you can always just search for what you actually want to populate for to get an idea as to what that'll look like. All right, so that's always a great way on literally Google what you're trying to populate for. So at the end of the day, you can get an idea as to what other people are putting out there. So you can kind of start to, you know, brainstorm on what you want to put out here too. All right, then of course, beyond the SEO information, then you'll have your content. All right, so right on here for the company profile, Enter a quick description of your business. This is going to be up to 250 characters. Characters, all right? There we go. All right, down here for the headline one, you can put inside the title, and then you can put inside the description. This is up to 500 characters. All right, how do I know that? I tried to paste inside something, and it cropped it off, so I went over and I counted the characters. All right, so that's how I know that. All right, and then same thing down here for the headline title. Once again, for the second one, all right, we're looking at up to 500 characters. All right, so I just want to give you a heads up. And then you can also add inside your image that's going to display over here on the right-hand side for the first one, 360 by 360. Over here for the second one, 360 by 360. And then, of course, down here for the footer title and then the paragraph as well. All right. So if I click on Continue, though, then it'll take me over to the next one. So then we have About Me on here. 
All right, so that way I can actually learn more about Scott. Here's obviously some information that auto-populated once again from the marketing profile. All right, so here's my bio. Here's my bio title. Here's my title as well. All right, we also have to have our contact title on here too. Contact phone, contact email. So once again, I'll click continue. And then finally, the contact us page too. All right, so in this case, here's the header. Here's the intro paragraph if I want to update this. Feel free to reach out to us and we can help you out immediately. There you go. All right, there's a message hint on here. Are you looking to buy or sell? What is your time frame? All right, just something for them to actually type in on here. All right, here's the phone number, how they can reach us again. Here's the email address, how they can reach us too. All right, so if I click save and continue, we're all good to go. That's simple, that's it. All right, so then once that's done, what's next? All right, so your site will automatically launch on October 1st. What would you like to do now with your site? All right, you can see some FAQs on here. You can go to the site settings, all right, or you can even create more sites. All right, so create new sites using the site creator. So if I click on site creator on here, it's gonna take me back cover to where we have the landing page, the agent side pages, and the neighborhood pages. This is still, once again, under that site section. And now I can see the about me, contact us, and then about us. All right, so that way I can get a preview as to what this will look like. And I can even click on create a new site if I want to add inside new pages as well to copy everything over by going on to my agent site. All right, so that's how simple it is to utilize the Kelly Guide to get your site prepped and ready for October 1st. All right, so there you go. So that is your command tip for the day.